What we're gonna do in this lesson is to create a React context to manage state in our application. Also, we will install in progress to show a loading box when we switch between pages. Okay, let's start coding. First of all, create store.js in components folder. We don't have components folder. So first of all, create new folder, components, and inside components folder, right click new file and set file name to store.js with capital S because it's a component, it returns a component. First of all, we need to import react, create context and use reducer. We need them to create a Redux context. After that, it's time to create a context using create context and save the result in store. You know, we export it directly. The next command, we need to define a store. And inside that, we need to create a switch case. And in the cases, we have actions. For default, we are going to return previous state. We will add new actions in next lessons and then close the function. After creating reducer, it's time to define a store provider. We are going to define a store provider and export it. A store provider accept props and in the store provider, what we're going to do is to use use reducer. Use reducer accept two parameter, the reducer function that change the state based on action and initial state. We need to define initial state. For initial state, what I'm going to do is to just define this. In initial state, we have card and by default, it's an object. And inside this object, we have loading variable and its value is true by default. And we have orders and by default order is null. Great. The last command inside store provider is to returning store dot provider. But before that, let's define an object and set the object name to value. It's an object that comprises of state and dispatch. They are coming from use reducer. And for the last line, we are going to return store.provider. And in this component, we set props to value. And inside that, we render children. So it's going to be a wrapper for the whole application. Great. To create a wrapper, in Next.js, we have a special file named underline app.js, as you see here. What we're going to do is to wrap the whole application in store provider. Let's go for it. First of all, we need to import store provider here and wrap the component inside store provider like this. Also, I'm going to define get initial props for my app right here and inside this function which will run on the server side i'm going to pass commerce public key in the environment variable to the client for client side rendering here for return get rid of comma and wrap it inside round brackets great by having this change there is no any update in the home page. For the last part of this lesson, I'm going to use in progress package to show a loading when we switch between pages. npm install in progress. After installing this, we need to import it in the app.js here. I'm going to import router from next slash router okay to show a loading box when we start moving or switching to other pages 
I'm gonna use this event handler on router .event router change start. I show a loading box and when it's done, I set end progress to done. Also, if there is an error in moving to other page, we need to make the progress done too. Great, let's fix the typo here. npm install in progress. And don't forget, we need to import the CSS of in progress too. Let's restart application and open it. Aha, uh -huh. great. That's it about the ng progress. And by having this change, we have implemented a React context and we have used that in the app.js. Also, we set public key in page props inside app.js in get initial props. So we have access to commerce public key in client side too. Great. That's it for this lesson. Until next lesson. Bye-bye.